This intimate devotional painting by Petrus Christus draws inspiration from the book of Ezekiel in the Bible, where God promises to bring life to a dead tree. Painted after Christus and his wife joined the confraternity of Our Lady of the Dry Tree in Bruges in 1462, the small size of the artwork suggests it was created for private, spiritual reflection. At the centre of the piece, Christ holds a golden globe crowned with a cross, symbolising his mission to redeem the world. Interestingly, the Virgin Mary gazes at the sphere in Christ's hand, emphasising her contemplation of his divine purpose rather than her role as his mother. The dry tree in the painting represents the tree of knowledge from the Garden of Eden. For Christians, it also symbolises the belief that salvation can only come through Christ. The spiky branches and oval shape of the tree evoke the crown of thorns Christ wore during his crucifixion, tying the imagery to his sacrifice. Delicately hanging from the branches are fifteen golden A's, a reference to the prayer Ave Maria, and a reminder to recite it fifteen times, a devotional practice common at the time. Christus's composition cleverly guides the eye. The interwoven branches form a circular pattern, echoed by the shape of Christ's face and the golden sphere, reinforcing the theme of divine unity. His mastery as a painter shines through in the intricate use of light and shadow, skillfully depicting the sheen and heavy folds of the Virgin's dress and cloak. The colours of Mary's garments, blue and green on the inside, red on the outside, carry symbolic meaning. Blue and green are associated with purity and renewal, while red signifies love, sacrifice and the passion of Christ. Through its layers of symbolism and exquisite craftsmanship, this small painting meant to inspire devotion in its viewer.